What's going on guys? Brett Alive back with another freaking video and today we are doing the official Brett Alive WWE action figure room tour. Yes, if you guys are already like, dude, you already filmed videos on your arena, you already filmed video on the backstage, but I haven't shown you guys the entire room they're like the room where we're at we're in the basement of course uh and it's sort of not necessarily a room but it's sort of like a corner you know what i'm saying but it's freaking epic freaking awesome i'm gonna go be going over all the mini details in this video if you guys have not already checked out the uh entire arena review video link up in the top right as well as the backstage link up in the top right go check those videos out if you guys want to see in depth on the arenas because i'm not going to be going over those in this video but i'm going to be going over the room so without further ado let's jump into it over here where there's another thing that i I might be filming a video on it's very very cool stay tuned but if we turn around here's the arena once again we got my lighting on the outside ready to film anything any video that comes to mind i got it right there got it from amazon two christmases ago i believe uh and then you walk in it's sort of like a walkway you walk in and then wwe figure bins everywhere starting over here we have this figure bin which is on two chairs i love doing this it, it elevates them a little bit i get them on two chairs here and this is the legends bin this is the 80s 90s bin right here of wwf right here looking very very awesome bunch of different legends figures in there looking beautiful i did upgrade their bin they did have a tinier bin before like that but i did upgrade their bin to a bigger bin because it was getting a little overflowed um but yeah that's the one right there and then over here i do have a mini table i'm gonna get under here we do have a mini table right here and this is a very good table that i am able to put bins on so i got two bins on the top here these are figures that are i really like the figures that are in this bin but they're not like main roster current updated guys if you know what i'm saying like updated looks updated characters say like in the business like this bobby fish like that's his nxt gear there kurt angle not currently doing anything in wwe so he's gonna be in this bin uh but again still really really good figures but just again not like that current or not that updated and then right to the left of there we do have the women's bin which is very big we do or for a women's bin i would say uh we got some the two rows back there are not so much used figures and then the two rows up front are more current guys uh right there or more newer figures current guys which I think is pretty awesome. And then right below that, we do have another bin down there. This is a bin of just basically, I wouldn't necessarily say retired figures, but definitely close to it. These are just like outdated figures that I don't really need. We already got updated figures of them. They got released, they got fired, certain things like that are down in there. Uh, which again, still a really good bin of action figures. And I still have it open so I could look in there and be like, oh, I still need to use this one. I still need to use this one. But yeah, still a really, really good bin. But it's just kind of retired figures. Right Right here we do have a piece of carpet to keep the feet warm which is very awesome and then turning around right by the steel post we do have the main current bin this is the current roster bin on this side we have monday night raw and then on this side we have friday night smackdown and then over here in the front we kind of just have just random figures i i'm honestly not really sure why those are up there uh and then moving down we have the classic drawer bin right here from the past couple uh rooms that we've done on the top we do have rubber shirts in there which look pretty good it's pretty solid again just all big rubber shirts in there and i actually did organize the aw ones out of this and i have them in a separate bin i'm going to be showing that as well and then moving down one we do have bigger robes in this one and like just bigger rubber accessories like these snakes uh for jake the snake of course and yeah kind of just tossed them in there not looking half bad whatsoever and then moving down a couple more there is nothing in the bottom of these believe it or not i did have my basics in one of those but i use the basics for the crowd again check out the uh full uh, brand new arena video it's already on the YouTube channel. Um, again, link up in the top right if you guys are interested. And then turning around once again and moving to a, a, another set of chairs. I actually have the Ruthless Aggression slash Attitude Era bin right here. Looking very, very awesome. You guys can see a bunch of freaking legend Hall of Famers and beasts of wrestling in there. I got the bigger figures up front like Kane, Big Show, Mark Henry, Undertaker, all the bigger guys up front. And then we got the more regular size uh, action, six inch action figures right there. And then moving right to the left of that, we do have the AEW figure bin. Yes, guys. We do have an AEW figure bin now. We got enough figures to set up an AEW figure bin, and that's another reason why uh, another one of those is empty. So I had one for AEW and I had another one for basic figures. But this one, this is the brand new 
AEW figure bin, and you guys could freaking look at this, dude. Look at all the current guys in there from AEW. You got Brody Lee in there, a bunch of newer guys. Look at this sting. Freaking beautiful. Look at that. So, yeah, just a bunch of AEW figures in there. Just have a couple accessories sitting right there. No particular reason why. I was using the Ultimate Edition Stone Cold recently, so I kind of just put those there. And then moving into the Sterilite bin here, we do have the cloth bin. And yes, this thing goes pretty decently far back. On this side, I try to keep them a little organized. On this side, I have just cloth shirts, cloth t-shirts, cloth cutoff t-shirts right there, which I think is very nice. And then right to the right of those, I do have more of like leather jackets, bigger jacket type things over here to the right, like the fake leather that uh, Mattel uses right there, which I think is very nice material. So yeah, the, these cloth bins are very freaking cool. And I suggest getting like a wider bin for your cloths and you could actually see it. So you don't have to dig through your cloth and like, you know, loosen the threads on them look they just lay on each other and then you just move them one by one to find the one that you're looking for i think it's a really good way of doing it and then right below that one we do have another cloth bin this one's more of just robes on this side we have like bigger robes like undertaker jackets and just different robes on this side which i think is pretty cool and then on this side we just have unique different types of cloth material like we got some pants we got a zodiac's little things a towel mjf's towel or a scarf we got a flag there puerto rico flag and then just again just random different cloth goods like this uh Brian Kendrick flag, the Rocky Maivia thing, just random cloth on that side. And then moving down, we have nothing in this bin. Again, certain bins have nothing in them because I just don't really have anything that needs to go in them, believe it or not. And then moving down to this one, this one's kind of a random bin, honestly. I'm thinking about taking this one down, honestly, and just separating these amongst my uh, regular figure bins. But this is a suited figure bin. We got a bunch of different suited guys in here. Uh, Corporate Kane, Triple H, Glenn Monsoon, Mr. McMahon, bunch of different suited characters in there, which I think is pretty cool. And then below that, we have nothing. Once again, again, guys, just a lot of space now, and I, all the bins aren't really filled. Here we have the classic good old Bird Alive uh, little, like, rolly bin here that always has the accessories in it. On the top, we got some camera equipment, some interchangeable hands. I still got to set up my money in the bank. Um thing up there. I'm going to attach it to a joist up above and hang it above the ring just like that. I still got to do that. I've been meaning to get some fishing line and set that up. Um, but yeah, the top's just some random different things that I use. Uh, you got some ring aprons. You got the tripod right here. We got some uh, belts right here, which is not bad. There is another spot for belts that I will show. Uh, this isn't all the belts that I own, but yeah, that's a decent amount. But uh, there is another bin right there that I will show. Uh, stay tuned for that. Uh, moving down, yeah, I really like this accessories bin. There's a bunch of different mini accessories in here i tried to keep this corner mostly microphones got more like stick accessories and then just random accessories as you go deeper which is pretty cool and then right below that we do have a bunch of different hats and headgear type uh material or not material uh accessories in this bin a bunch of different hats and masks and different head gear things and then the three bins below all empty oh no what's down here oh i forgot about this i put my tax in there when we moved oh my gosh i forgot about that I'm going to have to clean that up, actually, after the video. Um, I honestly forgot about that. So, uh, yeah, my ta my custom tacks that I got for, uh, from some nails, a nail box, and then I put them in that Doink the Clown bucket, and I've been meaning, and I honestly forgot that that was even in there. Um, but, yeah, on the floor, we do have the continuation of the carpet going all the way down there. We do have the backstage area, which, again, video is already on this. I'm not going to be showing anything up close on these. Backstage, main WWE arena, and then we got the main AEW arena, which is not done yet, but it soon will be, because it's... In stock at Ringside Collectibles right now is the brand new AEW figure stage pop-up. And I cannot freaking wait to get it. And then I will be filming a AEW Arena little video. But yeah, this harder wooden table for the AEW Arena. Of course, I get the dollar store mats all the time, man. And I also got some dollar store mats hanging, covering off the plumbing, if you guys remember that. Uh, so you guys don't really see that, which I think is awesome. Then we got another bin below here. We got some, well, this actually was f filled with AEW accessories until I, like, started dispersing them throughout the arena. Uh, this one's got nothing in it. And then down below, we do have a bunch of different AEW jackets and AEW accessories in here. We got the Young Buck jackets, a bunch of different just rubber accessories for AEW action figures. And then again, once again, that's the AEW arena. And then moving over here, we do have a shelf that was in my old room that I didn't need in my room that I'm in now. So I'm like, you know what? Instead of getting rid of this thing, I'm going to put it downstairs. In the basement in the WWE Action Figure Arena. So here it is. We got a shelf, which I didn't have close to my last arena. So this is my first time getting a shelf close to my arena. So what I decided to do is on the top shelf, I'm still working on it. I still have a lot of room up here, believe it or not. But I got some... Uh, 
Some NWO figures back there looking absolutely beautiful. And then we got just some random figures that I'm that I really freaking like on the top shelves. Some Ric Flair's, Christian, Stone Cold, just some figures that I really like in the top. You guys already know the Cena shelf. This is the John freaking Cena shelf. Every Cena Elite ever made. Yes, you heard me right. Every Cena action figure ever made. Every John Cena Elite ever made. Not like figure, figure-wise, like Jax, Basics. No, no, no. Every Cena Elite ever made right in here. You guys could literally pinpoint and pause the video and literally go through every Cena Elite. I actually have two duplicates. I have the best of pay-per-view Cena right there as a duplicate, and I also have the defining moment Cena behind him as a duplicate, which is crazy. Got the custom Brutal Life Championship from Wrestling Figure Mania. Shout out to him. Then we also have the Elite Collection, uh, Make Your Collection Elite little thing that I got from Walmart. They were just going to throw it away. So I'm like, you know what? I'm taking that, and Cena's holding it down right there. The defining moment Cena right in the center. Moving down, another shelf right here. We have a bunch of just rare figures right here. A bunch of just ultra rare figures, in my opinion, or figures that I really freaking like, like that Matt Hart that's kind of rare, but I just really freaking like that figure, so I decided to display him. But yeah, just some super rare figures up on this shelf if you guys are interested in looking through all of these. We got both my Elite Four John Morrisons right there, and then we got some mock AEW figures in the back. That's the newest Walmart exclusive Sting, which is very freaking epic. Planning on getting that signed. And we got a bunch of AEW mock figures. We got that Undertaker, same Comic Con exclusive, SH Figure Arts figures that I'm thinking about displaying. And then we got uh, some figures from Basic Series 1. And we got Triple H and we got Kofi Kingston here. And then moving those out of the way, we got some mock figures behind here. Just random ones that are right there. And then we got some battle packs, some inbox battle packs which is very freaking cool right there. And then moving down here, we do have another carpet set up right here. Just random extra carpet that we had. So I'm like, you know what? Set it, set it up downstairs. Got an extra black mat right there. Old steel cage. Some random accessories. Let's see what we got. We got some announce table parts and some diorama little things. And then in these we have, let's see what we got. We got some little stands. And then we got the NJPW figures as well as the UFC figures in here. Which look very, very cool. I'm going to slide that back under the thing, which I think that's pretty convenient. We got an extra Camaro right there, interchangeable hands, literally throughout all of these bins. We got the AEW interchangeable hands. This one, we have the women Mattel uh, interchangeable hands. This one up top, we got open, choke slam, and fisted interchangeable hands. Got them all organized, baby. And then of course here, we have all the unique different poses with interchangeable hands. Very cool. And then down below, we have a bunch of super tiny freaking accessories that I don't want to lose. So I condensed them all to one bin. Even Bianca Belair's earrings are in there somewhere, believe it or not. Moving over here, we do have the extra belt, believe it or not. Most of all these are duplicates. Literally all of these are duplicate belts in here. Literally all of them. So I'm like, you know what? Instead of like searching for all the belts, I'm just going to condense them all to duplicates. And then the other bin is just one of ones, basically. Uh, and then behind that, we do have ju just some little extra things. We got some of the stands, some little name plates. Not bad. Nothing too crazy back there. I'm going to put the belts on top of there. And then we do, have, uh, on top of here, we got some camera equipment, some microphones, a little tripod, extra remote for my lighting, just some basic crap right there. Over here, we got some bigger accessories that are, I might, th I'm thinking about condensing those into here just to get them closer to the arena. Uh, so I'm thinking about doing that. But again, just bigger accessories throughout here, some bigger like clothing, entrance piece accessories in there. And then moving right here, we have a bunch of different interchangeable heads, interchangeable arms, and different things like that um extra build a figure piece for a howard finkel right there which honestly might think about selling that because I, I already built it um but yeah a bunch of different interchangeable heads hands arms different things in there and then moving to the right of this well before we do we have the little ringside collectibles pieces of paper at the top which look pretty cool and then on the top of these home depot boxes get the iron man poster and of course we do have Another accessories bin. These are just big accessories like steel chairs, tables, ladders, casket, literally everything. And then in, in all four of these Home Depot boxes, I got literally not mock figures, but just boxes, four figures. And then right there, we got some Ultimate Edition boxes. And then in that red bin below that is fodder pieces, basically just random parts from WWE figures. And then we got the steel cage and then just some random boxes right here. But yeah, guys, that is the arena right here. That is the room. Again, I still have to show that 
which a video is coming soon on the announcer's desk area where we film predictions and unboxings. So stay tuned for that freaking video because I'm very excited to be doing that. I'm not done with it yet. So, But a uh, new video coming on that very, very soon. But yeah, guys, this has been the WWE Action Figure Room Arena Tour here in 2022 for the new house. And I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for more videos coming to the YouTube channel. And I'll see you guys next time. Bread alive. Out.